The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral ragnite for their survival, and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the east when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. March, 1935. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Guys? Freeze! Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um... Uh, my name's Welkin. And you are... The one with the gun. We're with the Bruletown Watch. I'm Alicia. Alicia Melchiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. <sighs> Great. Welks? Is that you? Isara! Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old General's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult, huh? <sighs> I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Gunfire! Everyone, keep your heads down! <laughs> Welkin, you can handle a gun, right? Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. I'm with you. I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. Ready to go. Yes! 
Here we go. What should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. On the 15th day, of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate and of love blooming even through the flames of war. What follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought, lived, and died.